Well, good morning, everybody. Today's a brand new day. Feed me extension cord. I'm gonna feed Steve an extension cord for breakfast. <laughs> Yo, um, we don't have a whole lot left here. Um, let me just show you. We we're gonna put that thing up. We got uh, lots of little details. Lots of little details. We got we got to work on the ceiling. It, it did rain yesterday, last night, so um, we'll get working on this. We'll paint this. Thing. I think I'm going to finish this uh, armrest when I get back to uh, Tucson. Um, I forget why, but there is a reason for that. Uh, <laughs> uh, we'll put the rest of that up today. I don't know, a bunch of little things. And uh, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the progress. Watch me. Just right now, we're playing musical chairs with the. Uh, Wood. We're trying to figure out what pieces get whitewashed, which piece gets some stain. What? You smell the wood burning. There's a lot of people thinking in here. So we, um, all we have left to do is put the wood there, stain, stain, and then we put a cap on it, which is whitewashed. And then it looks like we're gonna have whitewash go across. They convinced me to do that. So then we have a, a break. So it's like brown, white. And then uh, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Here's a pencil. <laughs> Anyways, we're doing some brainstorming. Okay, well, I'm outside working on stuff. Dean is inside. What is Dean doing? I am trying to figure out this jumble of wires and getting the stereo console slash GPS slash what else does it do? Backup camera? Backup camera slash, slash tickle you where you want to be tickled console. <laughs> Check out Dean the schoolie. Yeah. He's got a cool channel. Wanderboom? What are you making back here, buddy? Well, I'm working on your lovely closet area. Mm -hmm. um, got the uh, lower area here is going to have your couple of shelves with uh, bins for all of your clothing and goodies. And a uh, nice flat area here for uh, to separate out where the hanging clothes will be. Yep. But we had this little gap or space here at the end where... Uh, Kind of jogging over, so uh, you had a great idea to put in a nice little hamper there. Yeah. So I'm gonna have. Oh, here, let me show you. I got the uh, the piece that'll be. Oh, cool! Your little handle sitting right in there, and then uh, so be able to pop that in, throw your throw your clothes in, cover it up, <laughs> keep the keep it nicely uh, covered until yep. you're ready to do that laundry. Awesome, awesome, and uh, we'll, we we will keep the funk away. And if anybody needs a good tip to keep the funk away, <laughs> put some um, dryer sheets in with your dirty laundry. Won't make them cleaner, Just make it, but it will take the funk out, I promise. I've been over there painting, priming, sanding, edge banding, all of the all the, the skills that I learned from Mojo Bus. Steve is building a box. How's your box? Huh? How's your box? On my back? Box. Box? Yeah. So far, so good. So far, so good, he says. Uh, inside, we got Mr. Wonderboom. Back in the closet. <laughs> He's... He's almost out of the closet here, folks. Um, he's putting on some cleats, I think he called them. Yep. Not the kind that you play sports with, but uh, those are just like a little, uh, little, I don't know, anchor point for the uh, yeah, shelves the shelf. to go across. And uh, you guys have seen this before. We have this in place up top. We just need a big old dowel to go across. But it's looking very, very pretty. And... Uh, the box that he's Steve's working on is for this thing. We didn't really know how to, I don't know, make it pretty and hide it and all that stuff. And so we came up with one idea. Everybody had their own opinion <laughs> on how to do it. We ended up finding a solution. And we're checking in with Wonderboom. He came up, came up with a great idea to put some uh, cedar as, uh, as, I don't know, part of the trim or... Uh, kind of a door jam. Door jam. Yep. Cool. Yeah. Looks great. Looks absolutely great. You can whitewash that. Mm -hmm. Same as this stuff. Mm -hmm. And then uh, we'll put some cedar on there. Yeah. And then we'll put a nice little bit of trim around it. And yep. Yep. Look pretty. Yeah. Looks awesome. You guys don't know this. I appreciate this guy so much right here. Shaw. <laughs> we met a year ago at uh, the Schoolie Palooza. And we've been friends ever since. I tried to, I try, remember, I tried to meet up with you the spring before. You were, you come from what state? 
Uh, well, <laughs> California, but I would th- it was probably up in Washington. Yeah, you were up in Washington, Oregon. Yeah. And I said, like, wait, I was in Washington. And you, I said, hey, I'll meet you. And you're, oh, I'm in California. Yeah. Right. I leave Oregon. You come back in Oregon. Yeah, that happens. I'm all over the place. Plus, yeah. as, as you guys well know, the videos sometimes have a little delay on them. <laughs> even when I say, oh, this video is yeah, going to be up emails, tomorrow. Though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No That's biggie. true. We but finally anyways, met up. Now we're like best buds. I, I appreciate this guy so yeah. much. We may argue once and in a while about design features. Yeah, I just <laughs> I have to whip him into shape sometimes. Uh, <laughs> kidding, obviously. Yeah. Uh, Steve just ripped this whole thing out because we were having a little issue with the wood. Well, and that was a previous one. This is a lot. That's what it looked like. That was like a temporary fix, but I don't think we had a vision for how it was going to be. Done. Sometimes when you build, you build yourself into a box, and then instead of ripping everything out and redoing everything, we kind of did that. But I really, it, we just replaced one piece here. So instead, because what happened was we want these to be removable in the event that I need to like access something from the top. So, and then Steve cut this very nice piece, and it hung over a little bit. So it kind of you know got in the way of our uh, you know plans. But Steve, you forgot one thing already. Uh-oh, there's that face. I better run. Badge, what do we got, buddy? What are we doing right now? Oh, this is sickening. Look at this. That's hot, Look, at this. That's Look, at this. Look at this. Ooh. Peppers and onions, which you hate. <laughs> Yummy. You Barbecued like chicken. Which I also hate, right? But it's boiled. <laughs> he pre-cooked it. He pre-cooked it. So you know it's cooked. So yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was going to get the kubasaw and uh, that's uh that's Canadian for kielbasa. Yeah. yeah. Kubasaw. <laughs> Boys, you, you ready to eat after a hard long day's work? Hell yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's oh, yeah. 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 Boys, you ready to eat after a hard long day's work? Hell yeah. Yes. Oh yeah. I ain't done yet. I'm hungry. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Patch, what about you? What do you think? She's always hungry. But yeah, we're doing a. Uh, you know, we're roughing it out here, just trying to survive. We're doing a uh, wood-fired barbecue chicken here. Sweet Jesus almighty. Look at how gorgeous this closet is. Wonder Boom finished up when I wasn't looking. And uh, so we have a eight inch, two 10 inch, and then a foot uh, tall um, little closet here. How cool is that? So we also have like a little lip on here. So, um, you know, so when uh, things are inside, they won't slide all the way out. And then uh, I figure I'll just have this open, you know, nice little open space. Um, a lot less work than doing that. And also there would have been some wasted space over there and whatever, but uh, this is looking absolutely incredible. This is super cool, so. Um, yeah, oh my gosh. It's the first time I'm seeing it. I'm, I'm like so blown away. I'm like, oh my god. So much room for clothes and all sorts of things. So, thank you, Wanderboom. This has been an, such an incredible uh, time out here. And um, probably one of the best Christmas presents I've ever had, actually. It's all these guys getting me out here in the desert, you know, wanting to get me back on the road and uh, offering to help. So, I'm forever grateful to all these guys here. Such a great group of people. Good morning guys, it is a brand new day. I'm very excited and I'll tell you about it in a second. Two days a day. Uh, everything's pretty much done. Steve and I are working on this back part. Construction wise, everything is done. So if you look around, the kitchen, done. The benches, well, construction wise, done. I still gotta finish that. Uh, yeah. Kitchen, done. Shower, done. We just have some trim. Solar is done. Water Boom had the fantastic idea today to put in the floors. So that's what we're doing. That's why I'm so excited. We are putting in the floors today. We are getting so close to being finished. Uh, I'm a little speechless right now because this thing is going to look like a new bus. So I have all this beautiful wood, hardwood, well, vinyl, luxury vinyl planking. Uh, and underlayment, because you know I don't like squeaks, I don't like uh, rattles, so we're going to do two time lapses, one there and one there, of the installation of the floors. Um, so I'm going to help Wonderboom clean up 
and then we're gonna get started. All right, Wanderbus threw me under the bus Wonder just a minute bus. ago. Or sorry, Wonderboom <laughs> threw me under the bus. Uh, yeah, I took out these anchors. So I'm not saying you should do it. I did it. I don't know what those things do, but they're the seat anchors. I'm sure someone in this video is gonna comment. You know, you really should have those anchors. It's for safety. I know, but we didn't do it. And I'm not gonna do it. So, anyways. But yeah, we gotta. We're putting in floors. You just gotta do one little hole there for the airline, and then four for the anchor uh, bolts for the chair. Should be good to go. That's in. Uh, Steve and I are gonna install this thing. I was playing with the noisiest tool ever. <laughs> Definitely should have wore some earplugs, but what? I don't. I don't have any. What? Huh? What? what? You saying something to me? What? <laughs> Anyways, we're going to put that thing up, button all this stuff up, and once the floor is in, not a whole lot left to do, just some trim. Okay, more progress here. Dean and Steve helped me out, and we all three mounted this back piece. It is all coming together here. Now I'm going to wire in the speakers and all that fun stuff. <laughs> we'll get more of the trim on. One of the last things we'll do is get the uh, fans back there, 12 volt fans, installed. And then when I'm sleeping, if it's warm, or if you just want to breeze, you just turn the thing on. It's got a nice little switch on there. By the way, those can be found in my Amazon store. The first couple links in this video, in the description, has my store link. A lot of people are asking me, hey, what'd you use? What's the product name? I try to keep that thing updated. Uh, there's a long list. I, I do need to organize it, but everything should be on there that you need, except for Steve, Badge, Wonderboom, Neil, Dean, Navigation Nowhere, and everybody else who's helped out. <laughs> Alright, Wonderboom, what are we doing here? We are putting in the under limit for the flooring. He's and underlaying the floor, man. <laughs> and, ha and, how are you, and how are you doing that? I am, in, for the stairs, it's a little more simple. Uh, this really doesn't have the overlapping like the rest of it up there does, but um, basically just... Uh, covering the, the tread part of the stairs here so but um as you can see back behind you there underneath it has this stuff has a nice uh you line up the edges together and then it has a peel and stick or uh, a peel off set part and then this part sticks right to that so that way you don't have to do an extra layer of taping mm -hmm. over the joints cool you get a really nice uh, and you're just putting it in with some uh, some staples yeah just holding it in place really with the staples just to kind of maybe keep it from shifting around as we're uh, rolling along on it so okay all right, we're having uh, some minor issues here. The uh, male part keeps snapping off with the female part, and uh, they are not interlocking together. So uh, I'm not really sure what to do, but uh, I think we're going to put a pause on it for right now. Thanks for the assist. No problem. Lock lights. <laughs> All right, so we got the LED problem fixed. Um, I think I did put the um, LEDs in the Amazon shop, so if you want to check them out, you can get the exact same ones. We just had a slight problem with the connector. There's always something that goes wrong. Nothing is perfect in life, but they're hooked up and they, they work. So I'm yeah. Excited. Steve's going to go play with his new toy. What do you have? It's a secret. It's a louder horn than Jax's. Neither one of us clearly ever grew up because we like our loud horns and he, and Steve We're not is, compensating for anything. Steve is a proud <laughs> owner of now four horns, right? Yeah, I got a, uh, a four trumpet horn that's what, two decibels louder than your horn? Yeah. It's like, because I only, I only have three horns now. I need a fourth <laughs> horn. Steve clearly, his bus, very horny.